Well guys, we got two bus updates, kind of, filmed in one day. So uh, we're starting here on 23, as you can see I'm doing some work with the drill and some light bulbs. Basically, I redid the dome lights in 147, so I had some extras, and I was thinking, I wonder if those would work on the uh, dimmable dome lights back here, because these two you actually get to dim with a switch on the panel. So, I figured, why not? I'll try it. So, I'll go ahead and turn the switch all the way off. We're going to hear 23's buzzer. So, all the uh, lights are off. I'm slowly, you can see they kick on. And then they get brighter and dimmer. So I did not think that these bulbs would actually work with the uh, dimmer switch. But they do. And also I did the rear. The front switch has a power issue, so despite me trying to flip the switch, it doesn't work. So that's pretty much all I've done with 23 today and most of what I've done with 147 today. I'll show you what it looks like in 147 over here. So we did do some work on the outside, but it's not anything you can see immediately. Go ahead and tell you what it is though. If you look close, put LED bulbs in there. Thanks to uh, Caleb Garza for sending me the Amazon listing to that so I could get those. I also got the uh, dome light bulbs off of Amazon, which uh, I've already shown this off in a video or the last bus update, but um, I kind of how to how to replace these, but I did not show these off because I had not installed them yet. So basically, we will go ahead and do this. Turn those on for now. But I only had the rear done in the last one. I went ahead and did the front too. So everything's done here. All of them work as they should. So now we'll go out. And I'm not sure in what order I'm going to release these. But you may have already seen this. And if you haven't seen the video on how to do it, I show this off there too. But basically the reason I did this was to uh, kind of make everything match. Because this was flashing where it was incandescent. It was flashing a little bit slower. And it looked a little off. So now we've got LEDs for turn signals all the way around. But, uh, yeah, all the way around. Thinking about replacing these with ones that are similar to 23. But, I don't know. We'll find out. See what I want to do. But that's pretty much it. I need to figure out um, what I'm going to do about this light on both buses. 23s is still this way as well. As well as that light. I haven't done anything with any step well lights on either bus. But I do want to make those LED. And then. So you see that light. And that light. Same with this one. I think they replaced the step well on this bus at one point. Because from what I've seen recently. with At least with the Lafayette buses. They had the body number on a little metal tag here. 147 still has it. So I think they replaced the step well on this bus at some point. Which is good. I wish they would have put this little tag here. It's just got the body number on it. 60819. Come up here. L060819. So they just left the L0 off of it. Because that's the Lafayette designation. The L. And then don't need to put the 0 in front of it. I actually grabbed the one out of uh, one of the buses I got to grab parts off of. Just for keepsake could put it on this one but then it wouldn't match the body number so um try and close that compartment but yeah um that's pretty much it as far as i can think um still have to go up to mike and b and pick up those parts for 147 the uh all the led lighting though they may not 
get put on for a while because I've got something in store for them. I am thinking about replacing every single clearance light on 147 with the LED version of this style that's on 23 because I just like the way that looks better. So all of these might be coming off and I do have an idea for those. Um, thinking about underglow, like putting underglow on this bus and I think that would look awesome and that would be a great repurpose for these lights, for these clearance lights. But, uh, yeah. And maybe thinking about a third bus purchase, but nothing that would be, uh, nothing I'd really use for anything except for storage, because I'd like to have more room than what's in my storage unit. And I know I've got all the seats in there, but they're brown frames, and this one's already got the floor torn up. All the seats still, well, not like installed, but they're laying inside of it. It's actually another Wood County unit. It's an O2, 3800. Um, so it share a lot of parts with both buses, you know, Bluebird parts or international parts. I doubt it's going to go for a price that I'd be willing to pay, but if it does, you know, maybe I'll go ahead and snag it. I'm not really wanting to pay a whole lot for it, so... I'm not getting my hopes up too high, but it would be cool to have. Um, but if if I did end up with it, I'd probably just throw the seats in 23, you know, replace all the brown vinyl with the vinyl I've got in the storage unit, and then everything that's in the storage unit, throw in that bus, and then not have to have the storage unit anymore, and then uh, getting some sort of like sheet metal or plywood or something to cover up all of the windows. It's also got a good rear door on it for this bus. So, I've got that option. It looks like it was a replacement rear door. But this one's got some rust issues. And if I remember correctly in the pictures, it actually had the Bluebird handle. Or with the handle with the Bluebird lettering on it. So, um, that would be neat. But it'd be, you know, just for storage and spare parts bus would be used for spare parts, but it'd also be storing my spare parts. So, um, they say it still runs and drives. So that, that's kind of what I'm looking for. I mean, I'd rather have a bus with a wheelchair lift just in case I need it. You know, bigger entrance in case I want to put a hood in here, which I do have one. But, yeah, I've got some cleaning up to do. And I'm going to go home and enjoy my life for a couple of hours and then go back to work so appreciate you all watching this video like comment subscribe if you want to give me some ideas whether it's modification ideas for the buses or just video ideas in general uh i'm looking to kind of expand my uh my content doing more uh in-depth videos kind of longer more effort videos probably going to start doing that sometime in the summer because I really don't have much time right now. And uh, whenever I don't have to drive a school bus professionally, I can spend more time doing stuff that I like to do. So I, uh, I guess that'll be about it. Thanks for watching.